mood out right. <laughs> I'm on top of my key sweat for it, you know. <laughs> this is Rachel James, slow James, on the scene, Mr. Ivan Duncan. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. Y'all know how we do it on the scene. We got to welcome y'all with some nice, slow, groovy music. We're here with Mr. Ivan Duncan. I've been, I've been, I've been. Okay, this man been up since 3 a.m., so, so, so we're we gonna take it easy on you tonight. We have to slow. Raheem Divine, don't come easy, because we know hard work, boy. Don't come easy. So, how you been doing today, Mr. Ivan? <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. Yes, and I know you've had a long, long day, you know, being a business owner and father and, you know, just, <laughs> look, look, the list goes on, hold on, let me get the list out. <laughs> you know, that that's the perfect song because it don't come easy. You know, if, if you want to live your best life and, and really pursue your purpose and all that good stuff, you got to work for it. You got to work. So you definitely are, you know, yes. I hate that. Work, 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 what, what, what word would you prefer? He <laughs> just got jobs. Yes, he got jobs, jobs. So let's so let's dig into these jobs so y'all can know exactly what we're talking about. You know, this is Mr. Ivan Duncan, who, who is the creator, entrepreneur of GetIll.com, GetIll1.com, which is a clothing label. Yeah, brand, uh, name, <laughs> Just bit. to be official, I use it for this, for that. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So, so what can so what can we expect out of GetIll.com, GetIll1.com? What what do you offer within those services? I offer the people what they want. All right, I like that. I get what I want. Yeah. Uh, my motto is, they don't know what they want to I show them. I like that. I like that. Because you know what I always say? You never know what you want until you get what you need. That's what I always say. So I like that. I like that motto. That's perfect. So, and by the way, you see this? You see all this loveliness right here? Yeah, see, that's why I need you to come out. I'm, I'm you know, this black on the scene, on the scene shirt I have right here. This is a shirt that was made by Ivan Duncan. Y'all like that? Y'all like that? Y'all like that, don't you? And then Mabra. Mabra has her purple one on. We love it. If she turns around to the back, you see hashtag on the scene. Yes, so if y'all loving us and y'all want to support us in any type of way, buy our shirts, boo. Buy our shirts. And you not only did our shirts, but, you know, you did all Sandy Red's, you know, shirts as well. So how did you connect with Sandy Red to, to do her... Um, Miss Sandy Red, if y'all know who that is, she was recently on The Voice. She did her thing. NBC's The Voice. We're very proud of her. She recently got the key to the city. What what is it? What city was that? Was that Matson? Mm -hmm. Key to the city in Matson. So she's doing her thing. We're very proud of you. We look forward to seeing what you have coming forth here in the near future. So how did you connect with Miss Sandy Red and, and get the t-shirts and everything made? Well, I know her manager. One of our managers, and um, I've been doing shirts for them for quite some time. So, oh. I guess Sandy's team was shopping around, but everybody was saying, "Go, go to Ivan." They were saying, "Go <laughs> here, yeah. go here." So, if you guys have T-shirts, now you also design. Like, if someone yeah. came to you and was like, "I really don't know what I want, could you help me create?" You yeah, also I help design graphic. Yeah, so you don't have to know exactly what you want. You just got to have an idea, and he can help you design these as well. We came with our own logo, and we're very happy with our T-shirts. We love them. Yes, yes. And different styles. He does hoodies. If you look at what he has on right now, it has his has his uh, logo on it, getill1.com. It's a hoodie. It's yeah. like a hoodie, long sleeve shirt, which I like. It's dope to death. So, so when we talk about, because you're an entrepreneur, you have several jobs. So we talk about 
just the, the guidelines of it all, what keeps you motivated, what keeps you going, because it's hard out here to to really just own your own business and, and stay motivated and just keep that ambition going and keep all these things going when you have life going on around you. So what are some of your guidelines? What keeps you focused? Uh, if I don't enjoy it, then I won't do it. Mm. <laughs> simple, so yeah. I like art. Um, so putting art on t-shirts is just an extension of that. Right. I have fun. You know what I mean? so, yeah. I don't really do it for the money. And um, I always tell people, how you don't fall out unless they stop making cotton? Right. <laughs> how you fall out about a t-shirt? Right, you know right. Saying? But you definitely have to be doing something special because it's like everybody I know, not I know, but I'm being dramatic, but has a, has a has a line. They can do this, they can do that, you know, they can create. So what separates you from, I guess what separates you from the rest? Because you have to be doing something right because you've been doing this for a while. You have people like, go to him, go to him. That word of mouth is critical in yeah. this industry. So what do you think it is that, what it is, what is it about you that separates you kind of from the rest? I would say that just me being me, I always try to give them more than what they expect. Mm, yes. So it kind of, it's a double-edged sword. Sometimes it's not appreciated as much, mm. but in the long term, they come around and see like, dang, you hooked us up. Right, right. right. <laughs> yes, so. yes. And that's, and that's critical, it's crucial for you to have, for your trademark, for your branding to mean something more than just the, the surface, the surface of it. Okay, yes, you make t-shirts, but beyond that, you know, who are you and, and what do you really bring to that table? So that extra oomph that you're giving that's not appreciated at first, you know, I'm glad that it's, it's making that big circle. And we know it's appreciated because people are like, hey, go to him. Yeah, I, I mean, often it's appreciated, but sometimes you actually get people who will get offended, like if I don't answer the phone or something like that. But oh, <laughs> not throwing uh, no shit. Look, look, look. <laughs> not throwing no shit. Hold on. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> not throwing no shade. <laughs> but I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm, he said I'm, he only one man doing what he can to give exactly. you everything. <laughs> so uh, I've, I've actually, sometimes you do fall out with people because they just don't see what you're trying to do. And especially in today's era where text messages is today's supposed to be. Era, I want my money, I want it now. Just you now, can't now, understand now. a conversation by text messages. Because it could be taken out of context. Right. Yes. So I've literally had people go way off in another field, and I had to text back, like, one, you asked me to do it in a clutch situation. Right, right. I have other stuff going on, but I got it done. I didn't ask you for any money, so if you have a problem with it, it ain't like you right. paid for anything. I, I didn't yeah. sign, sealed, delivered. And right. you still complain at life. Yeah. Like, what, what, what more do you want me to do? So, it, it, it yeah. happens. You cannot satisfy everybody. So, I just, like I said, I don't really don't do it for the money. I do it for my own happiness. Right. If you're happy, you're good. Yeah. And that's where it all stems from, being passionate about something and doing it. Because a lot of times, you're starting off, you're putting in more money than you're getting, and you got to really grind it out to see you know, the fruits of those labors mm -hmm. as well. So let's let's go back. So you, you have a family of uh family of athletes. Yeah. You know, y'all come a long line of athletes, you know, back in the day, you know, at the skate ring. Yeah. <laughs> so you're a skater. Yeah. So tell me about the ball you know what I'm saying? I haven't been skating in a minute, but it's so it's so fun when I'm not busting my tail. Yeah. I really enjoy myself. So, how'd you get into skating? And I go to the skate scene. It, right? it, it, yeah. They got JV skaters. Like, Chicago is on the map for skating. Oh, I'm not originally from here. 
Where you from? But from Oklahoma. You know, I've, I've been here. Yeah. Ooh, don't be doing that to Oklahoma. I was going to tell you the style of skating down there, but I can't even. You know, he's like, there is no style. In Most Oklahoma, cities, I can tell you the skate styles, but Oklahoma. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we, we Oklahoma, we got, we got, we got, we got to come up, boo. We got, we got to get our, you know, we got to get us a skate style. You know what I'm saying? And um, in 2019, there is a skate documentary that'll be out. HBO picked it up. Ooh. John Legend helped produce it. Um, nice. It will. It's a tearjerker, actually. It's fun, but it's a, mm -hmm. also a tearjerker. Um, because believe it or not, even in the skate world, the businesses around are closing. And oh. believe it or not, you still have racism inside the rinks where you what? Know, it'll really surprise you. Like, you can't even skate without racism. Are you serious? It's crazy. Well, I'm, wow, really? So it was a documentary based on the Chicago skate style they just kind of uh, the main cities that were um, touched upon it's, it's worldwide mm -hmm. even in London and Canada we have people that come here to skate and stuff it's, it's really? really a huge underground type of thing but like I said when you see the documentary you kind of get a feeling and be like blown away by wow. it but um, a lot of the skating rinks we lose about three every month are you serious? Because of the big box um, takeover. Mm. So Walmarts and, you know, your Targets and things of that sort. Are they buying, up the, is it, they buying the properties? What does that the mean? The tax advantage is <sighs> better for them. So small businesses are getting boxed out. Oh, my gosh. So you actually, in the film, you'll see where Rich City, which is in Richmond Park, mm -hmm. actually had its final role. But we're in, we've been with the politicians and so on, the, the powers that be, mm -hmm. um, especially coming from the Robert De Niro, um, Tribeca yeah. Film Festival. Yeah. The skate documentary has been winning awards left Oh, that's right. beautiful. Yes. So in 2020, we hope to open Rich City doors once again. Oh, yes, yes. Absolutely. There's a lot of um, positive things coming from it. That's good. It don't come easy, but y'all working. Yeah. Faith working. without works is dead. Y'all working. Y'all got that faith, putting out documentaries. We're going to open up Richmond Park, okay? I'm going to be up in there when it open up. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really fun. From, I mean, pretty much you could, I know you had on a pair of skates. Oh, oh. <laughs> like, you know what? We know, yes, we <laughs> skate in so, Oklahoma. So, when, uh, <laughs> Ballet to karate classes to skate. You, yes. you know what I mean? Yes. That's how you raise your kids. So we're looking, like I said, to get kids more involved in that. Today's yeah. their research is Apple phones and social media. Yes, so. we're too connected to these devices to yeah. where it is it's limiting. So in yeah. the documentary you'll see the main characters and people from London. California, nice. all the way in my shirt, <laughs> of course. Ah, <laughs> yes! Ivan Duncan! Oh, I love it. I, I can't wait. So it's coming out in 2019. Yes. Um, it should be February. Like I said, uh, John Legend um, helped produce it. it. And HBO just recently purchased, purchased wow. it. Wow. So. That's that's a big deal, and and look look at the cause, you know, having that skate rink open, it just it gives our youth and families something to do. Yeah, it's like when you take away all the activities, this is this is all that's left, and and this can be a world of trouble. Yeah, because there's so many different things you can find and do on these phones, so it's nice to you know when people can get out, they can get active. So wow, I look forward to it. So we we gotta yeah. Get this skating ring back open. I'm about to work. <laughs> the work on my skating. What? Why? Yes. Yes. I, I love it. So tell everyone how they can get in contact with you and just kind of like outline, you know, kind of just kind of the services that you that you do provide. 
Um, I'm a screen printer by trade. Of course, I work with glitter, rhinestone, rhinestones, and different um, types of things, water based and plastic styles. So uh, I do custom work. I'm introverted, so <laughs> you can find me on Instagram. I post a picture and I'm out. And I'm gone, <laughs> okay? So you won't catch me Facebook live, but yeah, I got a Facebook page, so everything is Gideon One. And uh, like I said, the best way is Instagram. Gideon One on Instagram. Hit me with a DM or something like that. Goes down in the DM, not like that, but yeah, let me just. Scratch that. It's not going down. There's no way to put that in a way that's not, yeah. So, <laughs> we're not going down in the DM. No. Um, so, so get ill. That's G E T I L L. Is it, are we going to the getill1.com? Yeah, getill1 is where you find my main. Number one. And do you do, um, so is every, are you doing everything fabric based or do you do things like banners and cards and things like that? For banners and stuff like that, I have a partner business partner or whatever that I usually send people we trade back and forth okay so I send people his way he sends people my way okay so, so, business, so you do business cards banners flyers things like yeah, that you can does. if someone comes to you, right you can, to him. bam so if you guys you know want those services and get in contact with him he has somewhere you can send you but you but he does you know all your t-shirt print needs this is a I love this <laughs> Look at the glitter! Look at the glitter! So get ill, G E T I L L, the number one dot com. Is it the same on Instagram? Is it get yeah. ill one? Get ill or at get ill. One. At get ill one on Instagram, Facebook, you know, get ill one. All the same thing. All of it's tied together. All of it, all all of it is tied together. So if you need, you know, and then you, you do bulk services, right? Like yeah. They say, hey, you know, we need, you know, 50 t shirts, we need whatever. From one to one thousand, it doesn't matter. Okay. Get up in there. He will. He will get everything situated. And definitely look out for that documentary produced by John Legend. It's going to be available on HBO. And get out here and just support. You know what he's trying to do with the community. You and your group. You know, skate. So t the, the, hold on. Tell me about this skate. I want to know what you know. What, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's huge. Would so, you, you know what? I mean, would you, cause I be seeing they be doing tricks. They be bending down. They be flipping over. They be like, woo. <laughs> and here we go. Yeah, you, you're gonna see all that in the film. We. Oh my god, I can't wait. Uh, like I said, we we're pretty much classic. I don't say old school JB skaters, but we classic JB skaters. Oh. Uh, they are the new schoolers that can do all the flips and all that stuff. So you, do you still get on the floor and roll? Every chance I get. Oh, we go. You know, you better let us know when you go next time. Yeah, you, you we come out. You, you, you actually, I tell people all the time because we start at midnight. Um, but people, are like, I don't really know how to skate. If you know how to listen to music, right. just come to the rink because you don't have to skate there. Sometimes they'll be stepping on the side or just. Oh, nice. Um, we do national parties, so with the national parties, you have people coming, like I said, from London, Cali, um, Canada, you name it, they come, and you'll be surprised, and you'll be like, the Oh my God, you, I am so excited. I want to get with <laughs> on Facebook, they'll, they come, and it's a few oh my months, gosh. and they party all day. Wow. And stay all night till six in the morning. Wow, you gotta let us know. Do it again. Wow, I am I'm so ready to go skate and bust my tail, but baby, I'm gonna have a good time doing it. Yes, so, so yeah, it, it's pretty much underground life. You have your motorcycle groups, right? Ride all night and stuff like that. Yeah. So if you're familiar with that type of setting, it's the uh -huh. same thing itself. I'll yes, we have motorcycles in Oklahoma. He gives you that look like, you know what a motorcycle is? <laughs> so, do, so if do you, cowboys <laughs> get together and do a road, you know, like, do, do you know what a car is? <laughs> so, so the 
rodeo people <laughs> were acting. Have you used a spoon and fork before? <laughs> It, it, it's so a thing funny. to see. It's really a thing. I'm see. excited. I'm excited. I, I definitely want to see it and, and just be a part of that whole atmosphere when people are out doing things that they love to do. It's just, it's just they have such a glow about them, and I, I just love to experience and just be in that, that energy yeah, that it, goes on. It was pretty much like it's, it's. It didn't start as a documentary. It started as really? let's just film some people skating. Oh. They were they are white. Yeah. <laughs> so they're like, what have we stepped into? And right. It's really like, right. even though the people are from all over the world, it's like a family type setting. So they didn't believe ah. they could set their purses down and come film. Right. And nobody touched their stuff. Just yeah. that type of setting. But we're talking midnight with adults. Like, yes. Yeah, we skate all night. Oh but my God. Yeah, it, it, it's. I'm there. I'm excited. I'm like, can we do it tonight? <laughs> Mabra! Mabra, we going, going skating. Going skating. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much. You definitely enlightened us, and I'm excited. And you better keep us posted yeah. on everything skate because we definitely want to be there. You are on the scene. I'm your girl, Rachel J., Mr. Ivan Duncan, with all your cloth <laughs> needs. He can, throw, he can dash some, what is that little hand? He can dash some <laughs> sprinkle gl glitter, <laughs> sprinkle, <a little> glitter. <laughs> sprinkle some glitter on there, and definitely look out for that documentary coming out, produced by John Legend. You know, they'll all be rocking t-shirts, graphic design by do -do 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 Ivan Duncan. Woody woo, woody woo, ah. Y'all know y'all love my special effects on your trip with me okay but thank you so much for tuning in remember get ill g-e-t-i-l-l -L, the number one dot com for all your needs all your printing needs and if you need things like this banners cards and all that he can he can redirect you you know to who can help you with that but thank you so much for tuning in any last any final words mr duncan peace peace, <laughs> peace to the middle east hey peace to the middle east and we you know i, I got i got me this new um, Galaxy S9 Plus for all y'all Android fans. Ah, so let me let me go ahead and see if I can utilize it to put some music on. Yeah, yeah. Are, are we gonna hit them with some "Don't Come Easy" again? <laughs> Living my best life. So we gonna let y'all ride out with some uh, let me turn a little stuff on. Cause hard work don't come easy, baby. We're gonna kick in. Yeah, there we go. So mellow out. Enjoy ourselves. We got more coming for y'all tonight. Yes, yes. Thank you for joining us. I'm seeing Rachel J. Ivan Duncan. Sing, baby. Mwah.